Hey guys, Dale here from Dale's Rigging and Crane Tips. Now today, we're gonna to learn about the most important thing that's not taught in your tickets. Now what I mean by that is that in your tickets, they don't teach you how to get this right or even approach you on how to do it. But it's one of the most important things you can do as a rigger. And what this is, is getting your jib right. What I mean by that is getting your jib center of the load. So when you pick up the load, it doesn't take off forwards or take off backwards and hit the crane. Or it doesn't take off forwards and then you overweight and you tip the crane over. So this aspect of cranes, very important, doesn't get taught in your tickets and we're gonna go over it today. So there's gonna be a few segments of this video, I'm gonna mash it together and hopefully as a rigger, you can get this right for your crane driver. I'm also going to go over what you need to do in the crane to keep centre. So, great video for all you learners, man. Alright, cheers. Alright, Dale here from Dale's Rigging and Crane Tips again. This, this video is going to be chopped up in a few bits, just because I'm, I haven't got much personnel with me. But this is a, an example. Look, we've got the load there, the counterweight. I'm standing in the centre of it. As a rigger, you need to get the crane center. This is an example of when the boom is over jibbed. Over jibbed. And you can tell it's over jibbed because when you bring up the chains, look, you can look up at the hook and the wires and it's not perfectly up and down. It's on an angle, it's over jibbed. The danger of this is we could pick up this counterweight and it will fly out that way. And that means that if you're good for it there and it flies out there, that way and you're not good for it out there, you can tip the crane over. So you don't want to be over jibbed, all right? You want to suck that boom in or you want to reverse or if you're on a slew crane, you want to jib up, winch down and you want to get the ropes of the hook straight up and down, not on an angle like this. See, it's on a real angle, it's over jibbed. You don't want that, okay? See you on the next part with the next clip. All right, this is a classic example of under jibbed. All right, we're under jibbed because it's on the piss the other way. And so that means this is dangerous because when you pick up this load, it's going to swing back into the crane and you don't want this. Now this works as well on slew cranes, not just franners, any crane. If the angle of your wires are on the piss like that, it's danger time, it's danger zone. And especially in big cranes, the crane driver can't see his angle because he might be 30 metres away. In cranes like this, you know, you can see it, but you still want to get it straight up and down. So this is what they call under jibbed. We're in the centre of the load there. It's way under jibbed. Pick that up, flies back into the crane, danger. You don't want that. On the next video, I'll show the example of how you want it. You want those wires from the hook there, straight up and down, straight underneath the boom. And where you check this is always 90 degrees from the crane, side on to the crane boom. Not the load, the crane boom. Always go 90 degrees from the crane boom, not the load. All right? Hey guys, Dell again. Now this is exactly how you want it. The hook straight underneath the top of the boom. The wires are perfectly straight up and down, all center to the center of the load. All right, this is how you want it. Now, as your, your job as a rigger is to tell the crane driver when he's center of the load. Once you've got it like this, you give the okay to the operator. You go, that's, the, that's center, mate. Usually indicated by a thumbs up or something, that's center. I do a little move like this where I just go like that to him and nod, and that's like that center, mate. And then after that, it's all up to the crane driver. Because on his computer, he can keep centre, because when he brings up weight, the boom comes down, so it goes over centre. But he sees that on his radius, so he can correct it. So your job as a rigger is to get him centre, and that's it. Don't start correcting him once the boom goes over, or if he comes up on the winch, it goes over or goes under. That's his job, not yours. Now, if he's not doing that himself, then he probably needs to get taught again, or he doesn't know what he's doing. But that's your job only, alright? You get it centre just like that, straight up and down, in the centre, not over jibbed, not under jibbed, perfect like that. Then you give the crane operator the all clear. 
Now to get it like this, sometimes it's easier, you hook up the chains like this and you just put a ton on it and then you can see the wires if they're over jibbed or under jibbed. Just put a little bit of weight on it and then you can see better. Sometimes when it's loose it's hard to see. Look the conveyor belt in the background isn't doing us any favours by being on an angle. But that's straight up and down, alright? Sometimes bring up a little bit of weight and then you can see if the wires aren't straight up and down. They're on the piss over jibbed or under jibbed. So that's how you want it guys. Now we'll move into the crane and what you need to do on the crane, alright? Okay. Hey guys, Dal back again. Now we're in the crane, alright? The rigger over there, he said, hey bro, it's centre. So now it's up to you to get the goods. Now look, we'll come down to the computer here and we'll check out the radius. The radius is 3.3. .3. Now you want to keep it at 3.3 because the rigger just told you that that's centre. But when we come up on the hook, have a look what happens to your radius. Oh, it starts, as you come up on the way, oh look, it starts getting greater. It goes to 3.4. So you don't want to keep coming up on the winch. You want to come up on the jib to bring it back to 3.3 .3 because you want to keep it centre. You don't want to be over jibbed or under jibbed and have the load swing out or swing in. So your job as an operator is to keep it at 3.3 .3 by either booming up or winching up. Sometimes if you boom up too much it can go to 3.2 and you need to get it back to 3.3. .3. If I keep winching up, it will keep getting over jibbed up to 10, 3.4 and it might go to 3.5. So we need to counter that, so we need to come back down on the hook. And it's gone to 3.3, .3. so what you can do is you can jib up from here. Now I'm jibbing up, and that keeps it on 3.3. .3. Whoa, see it stays on 3.3. .3. I know I sound like a dick, but I need to be enthusiastic about this so you guys can know what I'm talking about. See I'm jibbing up now and it stays on 3.3 .3, so you know that the load is going to be centre, it's going to be straight and when you lift it up there's going to be no swing and you're going to look like a pro, alright? So that's your job as a crane operator is to keep that centre mark, keep that radius by either jibbing up or winching up, alright? So jibbing up keeps it back in centre. If you jib up too much and that goes down to 3.2, you need to start on the winch to keep it centre. Have a go with that in your crane yard. Talk to an experienced crane operator when you're doing this, if you're just new. And, and um, just spend the day on getting your radius the same, keeping your radius the same when you're picking up heavy loads. All right, so I'll bring it back down. All right, and those come back down. Now, uh, now it's hard on the slew cranes because you're so far away from the load to know if it's centre. But if you're on a crane which is close to the load like this, there's a couple of little tricks that you can do. All right, if you're over centre and you're not confident in your crane driver, one of the things you know that will happen is when you pick up the chains, and you're over jibbed or under jibbed, two chains will get straight first. So check two chains, look the front two chains there, which are closest to the crane, they will start biting first. So that's a clear sign, see they're straight and the back ones are sloppy. That's a clear sign that you're over jibbed. Now if the back two are tight and the front two are loose, you're under jibbed. So that's a little trick that you can put into your arsenal. If your chains all aren't pulling up the same length and they're not pulling up and they're not balanced and all got the same weight, you know that your jib's not right. A little bit harder in a slew crane when you're far away, so you really got to have an experienced rigger who gets your centre. But you know that you're centre off the first video, so you're going to be that experienced rigger that you need. Now one more video and it's just another trick to get your centre of the load. Alright, see you on the next one. Now another thing too I just want to add, um, 
is that it's your job to get the jib because obviously the crane driver can't see his jib, all right? Especially on slew cranes. You're right there, side on to his boom, 90 degrees from the boom, all right? Your job's to get the jib right. His job's to get, to get the slew right. He's right underneath the boom. He can see the slew. So there's really no point of you walking over right underneath his cab there and going, oh yeah, slew to the left or slew to the right. It's pointless. He can see that. He's on top of it. That's his job. He can get the slew right. Unless you can't see the load, unless you're blind, then you get a slew right. But other than that, you get the jib right, he gets the slew right. He can see it. He's right underneath the boom. That's his job. Don't tell him what don't tell him to slew left or slew right. He can see it. He can see the wires moving to the left or the right. He can adjust. Alright guys, cheers. Hey guys. Now one of the tricks I was saying to get the centre of load is another way that you can go about it. It's before you hook up the load, just hang your chains in the centre of the load. So as a rigger, you bring them forward and you get them into the centre of this load. Maybe a little bit off centre here, but you bring him forward a bit. And then him in the crane, he can get his slew in the centre and get it like that. And then when you come down and hook it up, you know it's pretty well just off. Might be just off, but pretty well in the centre, even before you start. Alright? So that's the centre there. And then that's the side there. So just another little trick on getting... getting you change centre to the load, is before you start, get it in the centre of the load. Now if you've got a container over there and you can't get up on the top there, then you've got to do it the way I just showed you before. But if you can stand on a load, just hang the chains over the centre of it first, and then you know you're in the ballpark. Alright guys, like these videos, subscribe here, hope this helps. Dale's Rigging and Crane Tips, ayo oh, yeah. yeah.